Okay, welcome back. This is the uh, part two here. We got the, the actual gameplay. Um, this is Jim Jam and, and Tim. What's up? And then Tim is now deciding whether he wants power or fighting spirit or whatever. Yeah, at the top of every round of Giga Robo, um, you choose whether you're going to get fighting spirit, which you uh, which is your resource for playing cards, or power, which powers up your mech, gives you certain um, abilities you can do on your mech itself. This is all on your player board, which we can't ex actually show you because it's got counters on it. Um, but let's I got see. my player board. Mm -hmm. I would say, oh, you got it on there? All right, cool. Uh, I would say since we're pretty far apart for the first round, I'm going to take power, um, and I get three power, which slots into our power bank on the right side of the player board. And... See. You can add that. You can add a blue die to your attack, or put it in your special ability here. I'm going to immediately put a power token onto my star spanner, which is basically my weapon. So my uh, chain fists are now activated. Something that James knows a lot about. Um, mm -hmm. Yep, fists and chains. Let's see. Where's the bloody turn breakdown? Okay, so when you move the power to those abilities, do they stay there for the rest of the game? Once it's activated, it stays there unless you deactivate it or um, play a card that would remove it. That's interesting. I don't see that on any of my cards. Like I can, I can, I can lose my star spanner, I believe, if I even put that card in the game. I don't remember if I did or not. What are you looking for now? Just making sure I. Have the uh... turn breakdown? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to. I powered up. Uh, I took power. I powered my star spanner. And I'm going to move. My movement. My speed is five. You don't have to move your full movement. To it less than your speed value. I'm gonna move three. Get behind the building. This building. Okay. And I think that's it. Because other than attacking, that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. I can't play any cards because I don't have any free cards. I don't think anybody does. So that's it. Powering up, getting ready. Okay. So I'm gonna uh, get some. Get some rage, fighting spirit. Fighting spirit. So you would get your. Um, I'm not sure how much fighting spirit you get. Heart value. Heart value. That's what it is. And my heart value is amount of power tokens in your power token control. Oh well, I guess I'm gonna get some power. <laughs> <laughs> so get a power up first. Makes sense. Because mine is the amount of power tokens in your power token control. So the side, the right side of the board, yeah. So whatever this is, is how much uh, heart that I have. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So you're like basing everything on how powerful your, your mech is. Yeah. I like it. Okay. That's interesting. That's why I just steal mechs. All right. So now I can move seven spaces. Seven? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. This was one, right? Okay. Wait. One, two, three, four. Five to go on top, and then six to move. You're right. Five, six? Um, you said it was one hex to get up there. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let's, let's double check, though. Uh, okay, moving to the ground on top of an adjacent tier one costs two movement. Yep. Yeah, cool. All right, I'll just do that. Oh, you can move one more for seven. I don't know. I can. But I'll be in your range. I don't want that. All right, that was it. Alright. Can't play any cards, abilities, man. Robot abilities? No. Are we sure we keep these in our head? Everything starts in our head. Alright, um, I guess top of my turn, I'm going to choose to get 
fighting spirit. So I'm gonna go up to four whopping fighting spirit. And what the hell am I gonna do? Oh, that's why I want power surges. <laughs> I told you you wanted them. Uh, them. It's only two abilities though. created a barrier with my ability. I don't know why I didn't go for it first. Um, I think I'm going to... Um... Be a little coy and just move around the building here for my turn and that's it so for that uh for range ability i need line of sight huh yes i think you can see it's on top of a building as long as it's not by two i think you'd be so you wouldn't be able to see me from there I think elevation doesn't matter for shooting, but it matters for punching, I believe. So is it a straight line for line of sight? One, two, three, four. Not entirely sure. So yeah, we're still trying to figure out the game. Uh, there's a lot of. Uh, it's usually what other games like Guardians is that way because they have hexes and it's always straight straight lines. So either. I way. think line of sight is very simple in the game. I just don't remember. Oh man, I'm gonna gain power again. So I'm just like running around trying to get a uh, fighting spirit here because I can't play attacks without any fighting spirit. All right. You have cover when you are in a hex adjacent to a structure and opposite of your opponent or when you have a static barrier and um, attacks, attack die, attacks against you are reduced by one die. There's a structure? A hex is... So you're in cover if a you can draw a straight line a straight path toward you or to your side of the map. Oh, these are good measuring tools. So you need to be adjacent to a building, basically, and on the opposite of your opponent to have cover. You can still attack them, you just lose an attack die. Does it say anything about destroying the obstacle? No, I think only the only way you destroy obstacles is by throwing or moving enemies through them. Okay. Well, I did find an attack that destroys the obstacle. Oh, nice. I'm surprised I don't have any, right? Because I'm all about... But it's only if you're on the Moving obstacle. shit around. Yeah, that's usually what happens. If you damage them and they're on top of the building, it usually destroys the building. So you're done? You just took power? Took power and I jumped off the building. I'm going to gain fighting spirit, so I go up to eight. Um, let's start some shit. Uh, look at you hiding over there. Look at you hiding over there. Yeah, I have no fighting spirit, that's why. Unbelievable. Let's see what I can do here. I need a lot of fighting spirit for my attack. Here. Yeah, this is definitely going to be better when you memorize all the cards and the symbols. Because I forgot what counter means again for the procedure. I what think you're going to do? What you going to do? The only way you can you can punch someone back on their turn. What you gonna do? Huh? What you gonna do? I'm gonna start some shit. You gonna start I just some gotta shit. figure this out. It's gonna take you a long time to start some shit. Alright, I'm gonna move. My speed is five. Move over here. Um, All right, so am I blocking right now? Oh, okay, never mind. Okay. Is that building blocking me? Is the question. Yes. So, um, author, move a. Uh, Mid rock. 
Boxing. All right, so I move with my five. Um, I'm gonna pay two Guardian Spirit, go down to six to play Sky Anchor. Um, so it's a range of one to three. It's a two die, but I'm uh, taking one away because of cover, but I'm gonna spend a power to add a blue die to it. Oh, look at you. So I'm going back up to two dice. Mm, look at you. Right. Um, so, now I would ask if you if you have basically if you have a response for it, and you could play a um, like an instant card, like one of your pilot cards. You could play anything that has uh, the counter to it. You'd still have to succeed to do the card. That's why we rule off basically. Okay, so anything with a lightning bolt. Anything with a lightning bolt is an instant, so that could be played in response, um, and so can a counter attack. Which is the two dice like smashing together with the lightning bolt. Okay. okay. What is your, your ability or your attack card? Um, I'm trying to uh, hit you for no damage, but I'm trying to inflict an anchor on you, which makes you minus one movement. Oh, you bastard. Because I'm all about trying But to I need Fighting Spirit to play my reaction card, so. Correct. <laughs> well, <he's all> <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you don't have any, do you? Oh, so you're, you can do anything. Okay. Uh, you can defend, though. You can always defend, which is uh, Just whatever one. your defense is. That's how many d10s you roll. That's gonna be on your on your map card. You got two defense? Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna Suck roll it, my two dice, and we'll compare the results. Five and a one. Five and a one. Um, so um, duplicates always counter each other out. And then my nine beats your one, so I'm successful with the attack. Um, you take no damage because it doesn't. Um, yeah, it says zero. Uh, but I inflict one anchor on you, which is going to go on your three. Um, your three cooldown number space. Oh, eventually it goes away. Uh, speed minus two to a minimum of one. If you move onto an anchor. Um, it is inflicted to you. So I can also put them on the board. What the heck? And if you move over them, it'll... Uh, and this goes down for each of my turns? Yeah, each turn it'll go on and eventually fall off. Do I do this at the start of my turn or at the end of my turn? Um, actually, that's a good point. I think it might it might give you the anchor and then it would go onto your board in your uh, refresh. So did that happen during the cooldown? Yeah. Okay, so that's at the end. Um, About done there. Uh, let's see what else I can do here. So that's going to go in my cooldown. It's only one, so it goes in my cooldown one space. And I've got some fighting spirit left, so I might do some something else. I pay attention to that. I did that for a reason too. Oh my goodness. You said you can use mech abilities as many times as you want? This is multiple times. I can just keep doing that. It's kind of broken. One by <gasps> Okay. Learn for next time. Search cards. Um, I am also going to spend three to go down to three. Wait, that's not right. Here it is. Burst chain. Two to four range. But actually I can't because I would lose a die. So never mind. Is it oh, no, I, I can do it. I'm going to do it. Um... Because I'm going to spend another power to add a blue die to it. Uh, range two to four. Um, it's going to do one damage standard, and I'm going to, if I succeed, I'm going to pull my opponent to a hex adjacent to you, which would pull you through the building. Um, so seven and a six. Oh, oh suck it, you big! 
you win, so nothing happens. Oh! And I put my card in the cooldown. Double seven. And that's gonna be that's gonna be me. I'm done. All right, you about done now? So now my movement is only so when five. Is, when does the refresh happen? Just at the at the end. Cooldown. Okay, so this would go back into my hand, and the two goes to one. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty fast. All right. I'm going to gain power again, so I'm maxed out on power. Um, this power movement. Spending power tokens. Spending movement triggering an effect. Performing any die roll. Okay. I can move. Wait. Okay, so spending movement. Um, you can't just keep using, like, I can, can't just keep doing seven and seven. It's no, but you can split break up, it up up to seven. So yeah. I can move two, attack you, and then move four. Oh yeah, totally. and then move one. Yeah. All right. All right. So I'm at five now, though. So. I'm done. Yes, man. Listen, buddy. I got zero fighting spirit. I'm a yes. coward right now. Man. I'm a little bit of coward right now. <laughs> All right. Um, what's your uh, what's your heart at? I remember you're minus two movement. Yeah, I move five. Oh, you move five. Okay, my heart is uh, four. Four. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, and then this moves it. Yeah, it goes out to two. I'm going to gain fighting spirit, so I go to seven from three. I see, I see the uh, trend that's going to be happening here. Speedy Gonzalez over here is going to be running around. Um, <laughs> Gorilla tactics, man. <laughs> that's my thing. Gorilla tactics or a sniper. So yeah, you had a choice. It's true. All right. Yeah, double dagger didn't even make any sense. I don't even know. I should just, just switch that out. I'm gonna move over here. Four of my five movements. I'm gonna spend Whoa! Two Whoa! For sky anchor again. Sky anchor. What the hell? Um, so it's gonna be two dice uh, to once again add a. Uh, Does the building not block me? Uh, you are adjacent, but I'm not on the opposite side. Oh, that's some bullshit. Uh, so it's gonna be two dice against you. You got any? Still have no fine. Got a six. Rolling right in the middle. Aha! Suck it, Trebek! What'd you get? Five and a nine. Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? <laughs> get out of here with that <laughs> nonsense. You should know, Tim. You and dice uh, rolling. You should know this. Uh, I should know this. You are a hundred percent correct. <laughs> All right. Um, we played a lot of Star Wars Destiny in the day, back in the day. And guess who won a lot? Just on dice roll. It's true. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, I don't like anything that you're doing. What a surprise. <laughs> All right. Um, Alright, fine. Nope, not fine. I'm gonna pay all of my remaining spirit nope. five. Nope. Nope. For Sky Anchor Echo Driver. Nope. Don't like it. Um, Rain which is one to four melee. Two dice. Um Jeez. your opponent must be anchored, which it is. And if I succeed I'll do what it does. Do what it does? Yeah. What does it do what it does? It does some cool stuff if I can do it. No. I have nothing to block with. I rolled a six every time. Uh huh. All right, so I succeed. No, I got a ten. I know which. Oh crap! And a two. And a two. You beat them both again. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really cool ability too. I hate. I hate everything. <laughs> you want to say what it is? I would have been. Able, I would have done four damage natively. What the hell? They would have removed your anchor, and I would have been able to move you to a hex next to me, so I would have pulled you into this building. It's rude. I can't have anything fun. 
<laughs> and this has no cooldown. What? So it just goes back to normal. Possible. How much was it? How much? It was five. Five? And with no cooldown? That's uh, and I'm done. Oh, I have one more, one more movement, so I'll move here. Big jerk. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to gain Fighting Spirit, because I'm full on this. So I'm going to gain six, and I can actually play something. Do I want to play something? Because you're oh, right this there. Goes, he's going to my answer. Uh, there are one. Uh, let's see. Do I have anything six or lower? That would do me good. Oh, but they're combo attacks. So I'm guessing for each card that you play, you have to pay the fighting spirit for it. Yeah, and you can play up to three combos in a turn. Mm. And the order matters mm. because it will trigger in, in order. So you want to think that out when you play combos. Oh, I'll play combos, all right. Mm -hmm. oh, I almost had a cool turn. Mm. I don't know why I'm surprised. Uh, I don't have any good low attacks. I got six fighting spirit. Okay, so I have, uh, you may pay two uh, X, and then it says X fighting spirit to trigger. Inflict plus two X damage. So you're gonna, for the amount of uh, fighting spirit you pay, you're gonna play. So two that times plus X. What? What is it? Let me see. I don't know. It's weird because it has the little dashes in there, or the dots. Yeah, that shit was confusing. I think it's saying you're playing X. You're the amount of you spend plus two damage. So it's gonna do three anyway. And then you can spend extra um, X to do plus two. That's really confusingly written, but I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Very confusing. So I have three die. Oh, it's, melee. it's saying for every for everything you spend, it's plus two damage. That's what it's saying. For every so it's gonna do the native damage anyway, right? And yeah. then for every uh, fighting spirit you play, it's plus two damage. But I have to pay two. Or for every two, it's plus two. Then I think that's what it's trying to say. It's just really confusingly written. All right, all right. I'm gonna move here because it's so. Melee attack. Now he wants to play. Um, I was going to do a, a bonus on here. Okay, so uh, I'm going to pay three for the card and then two. I'm down to one now. Um, all right, and I'm rolling three die. I got nothing, so I'm just defending. Um, and so it's going either way, it's going to do two damage. Big eight. 12, 7, 5. All right, so this will get rid of your seven, so you got two successes, which you think you only need one, right? Yeah. So attack succeeds, so I automatically take how much damage from the start? Uh, damage is three, and then, so five. Okay, down to 40, 40 even. <laughs> um, don't you get uh, rage from that? I do. So how would you successfully attack me but not inflict damage? I had that card that didn't inflict damage, but it's an attack. Um, were you successful with that one? I was. Oh, did I? Damn. I gotta pay attention. I added one. the one anchor to you on the first turn. That's right. Okay, so turn. it's a deck with no damage. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Um, 
So you want to do something else since you have more fighting spirit? <laughs> what well, I've done, done it. <laughs> <laughs> Some of those attacks you tried to hit me with but were unsuccessful, but would have been good. Oh, did I even say the name of the card? Flash Combo! I was going to say, come on, man. Gotta stay on brand here. I would have done this one. Dang it. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Or should I just save it for defense? Oh, these combos. Combos, combos, combos. 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 Uh, okay. Ooh. Uh, you don't have any of those. Okay. Um, I'll just save it. All right, so I move to... Three, four, five. I have a couple of things to say leap, and I gotta figure out what that does. I'm pretty sure it lets you move a certain amount of spaces. And it's your turn. If you this have a leap, you may move to a legal hex as designated by the card or ability. Who is it? <laughs> Who that is? Oh yeah, thanks. Me too. <laughs> Doing fighting games and stuff. Happy New Year, dude. What's up, man? Actually, we're we're in the perfect shirt for this. Oh, oh. oh I should have brought my t my box. We've been trying to figure this shit out, uh, yeah. but we're we're. Uh, How long have you guys been playing? <laughs> for about twenty six minutes. <laughs> Why is this video frozen? What's that? I think it's just music. Music. All right, so you're done being fighting stupid. Robot. Being stupid. How yeah. dare you? You're yeah. done doing it's stupid shit. It's your turn, big jerk. I'm gonna gain. Uh, Sit over here. There's Fighting room. spirits. You guys ordering food? Probably. Eventually. I got meat in there, but it's not a lot. Mm. Yeah, feel free to look around. It's the backyard, unkept. What? Well, I feel like there was just an explosion. Well, man, that's how it is over Explored here. Florida, man. Man, a big backyard. All right, I'm gonna take fine spirits. I go up to twelve. Uh, oh, of course you do. I'm gonna, start, I'm gonna start some shit. All right. Well, guess what? I got defense now. Ooh, okay. That's right. Um, yeah, you should be scared. Hmm. Wait, how did you get this uncut sheet? That was from the uh, tournament, the one that you didn't want to go to. I don't know why you would be glad about that. It was actually pretty fun. And apparently the last one for Florida. You gonna fit in there? Somehow. I can move the I can move the couch back a little bit. Here. So yeah, we, 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 people that owned this place before had like dogs and stuff. I've been trying to get that smell out. Oh, I didn't. I kind of smell. I got my mask on. There you go. We got a little bit more room now. I'm gonna play a big combo. Combo. Uh, it's my nickname. Ten power. So we're down to two. Ten power. Yep. Oh, you playing? Paying for both of them right now? Yeah. All right. You have to. <coughs> um. So I'm gonna have three here. dice. Uh, because two for the first one. You Is it ranged? You get plus one. Yeah, it's ranged. I'm all about chains, throwing chain fists, bro. No, no. I don't like it. Um. This thing is weird because you don't have decks. All the cards you have are in your hand. What's that? So we do them one at a time. This is building is destroyed. Um, no, the D gun thing. Oh, that. No, which one? You, you have your hand on that. Oh, this is my. This is my. Uh, Those are all in his hand. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so first one, burst chain Leviathan. 
Um, I got three dice. Are you gonna? What are you doing? You doing anything? What the hell? So, what do I get to know about your attack before um, I choose a card? Um, so the first one I'm doing, it says until the it's gonna do damage, obviously, but it's the first of the of the combo. Until the end of this turn, every time your opponent moves or is forcibly moved, they receive one damage for each hex they move across. That's the first one. I'm Good to lord! Alright, well, I'm I gotta play, play my, to move, yeah. my Iron Carcass, which is eight, which is a lot. But, um, I have to do a recovery roll on a success, cancel your opponent's attack card. Damn. So, so it's roll eight. a d10, and if it's seven up. Seven up. I don't know if I would have to succeed first, though. I don't think so. Does not affect all the things. You <gasps> son of a bitch. Oh. What a surprise. <laughs> right, once again, I can't have anything fun. Okay. Um, so I'm guessing I would do the first one. So that just goes in my cooldown. It's a cooldown three. So do I get to react on this one too? Um. Well, I the thing is, I think I have to succeed. Let me see the roll. I don't fucking know. Sorry, dude. We might be doing the word. We have to have a play video. Right. I can post it on there for you later on this on the page. You can see okay. what you missed. Oh. Yeah, we're recording today. You guys haven't been playing that long, like 30 minutes? Yeah, this one. We had how to play was an hour. Or set up. Yeah, I was literally about to leave the house and Crystal wanted to ask me a bunch of house stuff. But it's like, right now? Duh. Uh, yep. She's like, she's like, we need an inspector. I was like, it's a brand new house. She's like, don't they come with that inspector? She's like, yeah, but we need a separate one. I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> and that, that's why I asked for Carl. I was like, I'll see what he did. But Sandy and Eric didn't do it. Can you do an inspection? It's a brand new house. And you, you, you get still got to make sure that... Uh, yeah, but it, you, you walk through it already. I mean, you still have like a warranty for like a full year on anything. Yeah, but it's still like, you know, got to make sure that they didn't use cheap materials and stuff. Yeah, but what else are you going to really do once the house is ready built? Ooh, they can replace it. It's got to wait longer. No, replace like what? Whatever the cheap material is. I think it was in the contract that, that the builder chooses whatever anyway. Mm. But yeah, I'm like dumb hungry. So what are we ordering? You didn't stop by on your way here? There's like nowhere on the way here. Well, I said, is all you want to do with college kids? I'm like, no, fuck that. <laughs> like, I'm, I, I, I passed like a pho place and some random pizza place I've never seen before. So I was like, I'm not going for a random pizza and a random pho. What, play, what uh, road did you come down? Um, I don't fucking know. I made a wrong turn like three times. <laughs> it was just like, if you come down university, it's by the college. There's a bunch of places right. like that. Like so you got rid of my... But either way, we can figure thing. out something. Hall branch, mostly. So the second thing I'm going to try to do... There's Little Caesars down there, too. Chinese, Mexican. Little Caesars down there charges double for delivery. It makes um, no sense. It's going to be ready. two die. Two die? Yeah. Uh, and I can block it? If I, if I, if I can I can block it? Um, if you have the Fine Spirit to play to play a card, you can try to... Well, do luckily, you die for not. I do a counter attack. Uh, so two die. Sky Anchor Echo Driver. No. Ten to one. Wow. God damn it. I hate you for all time. <laughs> this is your game. You knew uh, it was a dice game. Uh, Alright, I'm done. Him it. Well, the good thing is, I'm not getting well, any rage. That was almost cool. I, I'm not getting any rage, though. All That's right. true. So I'm going to get my uh, fighting spirit here. Uh, I guess I do have more movement. I only move oh. one hex. Oh, I'll move back behind here. I ain't letting you do no bullshit. Oh, my goodness. All right. I got one more turn with your stupid anchor holding me down. All right. 
What do I want to do here? I need one of those like right. combos. Three turns in a row now to do something with that anchor, but I can't. Mm, all my attacks like bunch up. I don't have. So yeah, probably should have um, chosen some less expensive cards. And you have no power surges. Oh, that's great. Oh man. Doesn't even make any sense to do that. Uh, oh. Right next to you, I'm not able to move anywhere. There's all kind of cool stuff that can happen with the buildings if James lets me. <laughs> I'm gonna let you throw <laughs> me into a building. <laughs> all kind of cool stuff that can happen if he lets me do anything. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do it. How about that? Ugh. Oh man, spin three, bolt caster. You may throw your opponent up to one hex per success. Inflict one power surge per success. Combos. Actually, that is ranged. I don't mm. think I'm going to have enough to risk. I didn't have to move right next to you. That's pretty bad. Well, what's you, can what's take, range? you can move back. Uh, but then there's no way to hit you ranged um, without that building being in the way, though. Because I was here. here. I one, am going to respond. Three. Being blocked by that building. I'm gonna pay my remaining two to play my counter harpoon counter. What does it do? It'll do one damage, and I can throw you uh, to an adjacent hex. Well, I don't like that. And two dice. I don't like that at all. Seven and a two. Roll low for once in your GD line. What'd you get? Seven and a three and a five. So sevens counter each other out, so you, you win. So I don't get thrown anywhere? Nope. Mine does not succeed. Oh, you take a whole big one damage. Okay. Uh, and then, per success, I can throw you up to one hex. I'm going to throw you in the building, and then you Oh, get... so he just wants to wait until he can do it to do cool stuff. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to throw you into the building, and then you get a power surge. Uh, so adjacent hex, so into this one? Yep. All right, so I would go into this building and thus destroying it. Uh, draw the impact card. We'll see what it does. Um, um, obliteration. Your robot's massive chassis breaks as you careen through the steel and glass structure. Um, you receive two damage. Hmm. So That's where's, it. Where's the damage? Great trouble. The armor. Um, Wait, so you've been getting jacked up this whole time? No, my max armor's at 30. It's probably cheating on this one. Oh, oh, this is the number. Okay. Yeah, which is weird because this is this board is for this robot and it's max thirty, so I don't know why there's a forty space on there. Power up. It says max to, though. Maybe to keep it for future future upgrades. So you can go past your max somehow. Alright, so it created rubble, and rubble is plus two uh move two movements to exit and it creates one defense when you're inside it. Oh you got defense though. Great. Okay. Um why is that still there? Because it's about to be cool down. This is the cool down here. Uh, so everything moves. This goes back in my hand. Get your crap out of here! I want my movement back! Well, I've tried to add a lot more, but once again, I can't I can't have any fun. Yeah, that's um, weird that it one movement, one cool down, it just comes back to your hand. Right back into your hand, yep. Yeah. What's the point of having the cool down on there? So you can't spam it in one turn? I don't know. Well, I don't think there's that much. That I guess has for that one. turn, yeah, I guess that makes sense. There's not a lot that has one cooldown. I only have one card. So the ones that don't have any cooldown, you can just keep using them over and over again. Guess so. They're usually pretty high. Mine's five. So this, uh, you're a, a spam sandwich. All right. Well, uh, did I you get your take... rage? Oh, I did not. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Thank you. Did you get your power surge? You didn't get your power uh, surge. No, I did not. These are all the power surges. Where does it go? On three automatically? Yes. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to take Fighting Spirit and go up to 12.
and uh, hopefully uh, just do some cool stuff, but probably not. Um, I'm going to start off with a sky anchor for two. Is that stupid anchor thing again? Uh, two dice, try to get an anchor on you. Actually, I could have moved first. I'll move here. So that's two movement. I destroy the city. That app, app six one. again and three. I cannot roll above a six, apparently. Sweet. Six no! Um, so finally hit me. No damage. Because uh, oh. it's just, I'm adding an anchor to you. So it'll go on three. God, it's fun. Okay, so I get, still get rage. What am I going to do here? We got 10 left. I think I'm going to try that, that combo again. Yep, I messed up my deck construction. Oh, I can't. The horror bosses won't last long. <laughs> oh. I already want to change my deck up. <laughs> I didn't do the combo right. Alright, so basically we got buildings there. This is the whole thing. So you get a, a mech and a robot. A, a mech and a pilot. And then you have different abilities, like I have, I could have did like all of these and this, and then eat the, the deck, the mech has a deck and the pilot has a deck. And then you have different pilot abilities up to three. Um, is there a flight thing? Or is there a quick reference thing somewhere? Uh, maybe on the back of the instructions. Um, but you need fighting spirit to play the cards. And then you have life here, and then there's different powers that power up your uh, your robot's abilities. And then this is like a cooldown area because obviously you can't use attacks over and over again. Which one is this? That's the new sniper lady. Uh, I think that's that one. Aizen. They don't have like names on here somewhere. Not on the no, not on the thing in the in the book though. You figure out what you're doing over there. I'm trying to figure it out. If you want the book. Um, Alright. Um, and of course, each robot has an ultimate attack. She just jumped out. What the hell did I do? Oh, she doesn't go in there. She she goes in the uh, the small box. An expansion. Expansion only. Hey man, I'm trying to figure this out. Shut up. What you got power for? It? Play a card. Come on. You know you're gonna fail the attack anyway. It's down. <laughs> that shit was funny though, because he tried to attack like four times. And he fell. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try a combo here. Are right, you gonna try another combo for eight? You gonna try another combo? Uh. Um, down, down to two. Hmm. Three dice on this first one. Or two dice. Question Can I react with combos? Can I combo your combo? Um, I think it said you can. I think we might have done the last one wrong as well, but that's fine. We'll figure it out. 
Um, okay. Um. Any card with the combo icon can be used for a reactive attack, but you cannot perform multiple card combos as a reactive attack uh, uh, unless a card or ability states otherwise. So I guess you can Let me see one stuff over there. with a combo with a combo. What stuff? Oh, the cards. Oh, they're here. Do a bolt caster again. How you like me now? And that's six. Three. All right. You ready for this, Trebek? Yeah. You ready to soak it again? Because I can react. Uh, um, this combo doesn't make any sense. Dang it. I thought it was cool. I'm not. I'm just gonna do the, the one card. So I'm gonna gain three back. Alright. Luna Vault! Bolt Caster! Six and a one every time. Every time! <gasps> What'd you get? Six and a one, and then a five. Or a nine and a one. Oh, that is a nine and a one. Right, I got two so successes. You won, son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna throw you into that building. And then now right, you. Those dice, I'm not using it anymore. <laughs> you think it's the dice? One every time. You think it's the dice? No. <laughs> uh, you enraging me to do that? Yeah, it's one to three. Son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> so this time you get two power surges. <clears throat> Why do you have so much friggin' power? Power charge. Yeah. Oh, because uh, you can gain um, power each turn. That much power each turn. Uh, you got your two, and then throw you into the building. So how much damage does it do natively? Just one. That's still the one one. All right, so I'm going to go into this building, which is a level two building. And don't forget to get your rage. Broken water main. The street gives way beneath you before a torrent of water rockets upwards. Remove up, remove up to three fire from your cooldown meter, and you receive four damage. So I'm down to 32, and it creates a flood token. So what does fire do? I guess you get, you get damaged each time for each fire token? Yeah, each time it goes on, it, gives, it does damage to you. That's good I to think? know. Yeah. That's very good to know. Three movement to exit. So answer, you, move, you can move fire. Yeah. Three movement is good to know. Okay. You done? I'm doing cool down. <laughs> this one can't go because it's electrocuted. And then these all move down to two. All right. Uh, I'm gonna gain. Actually, no, that's not how it works at all. This one moves on to two. These would just now be in three. So that's how that works. Right. So mm. I can't refresh because you're a son of a bitch. 
All right, my turn. Right? No, that was yeah, my that, that was, was my turn. turn. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking he's fucking me up, Moses. I need I need you to come in. I need, okay. At the end of the episode, you're gonna fly in. <laughs> Help me out. This is gonna do a right. challenge. Toga King. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he sets shit on fire. That's all I know. He's actually actually he's probably my favorite one. He's uh, I was gonna play him. I just like the idea of like having a fire sword and using fire. All right, go ahead, Fat Fun Ruiner. Have your turn. <laughs> Getting my butt kicked here. Oh, God. All right, let's see. Running out of buildings to throw him into when I haven't been able to do it once. <laughs> my, how the tables have turned. Uh. Unbelievable. Oh, but you're already on there. Dang it. Uh, Damn it, all the water space. All right. And it's two, so I have to move around that. So one, two. Ah, oh, goodness. Well, it's one to enter, two to exit. One, two. I'm gonna play. Play the charge and then the volt spike. Charge! Alright, so I spin three. My next attack inflicts plus two damage. I'm gonna spin a react. Play a reaction card for six. I'm gonna go down to seven. Anchor sprint! <laughs> I think your anchor should be on two. No, you gave that to me last time. I think it was. Did you attack last. me twice? I think it should be. I think it should be on two. No, no, no. You you did that in reaction to my attack. Oh, that's right. Um. Oh my gosh. Um, and then. That's a reactive attack? Mm-hmm. Okay, so in your reaction to your reactive, I'm going to play perfect defense for... Oh, I haven't played this yet. Uh, three. And you may add your robot's defense die to your attack roll, treating each one as a ten-sided attack die. I like that. How about that? But that's not a die. That's not a... Um, that's not an attack. How much armor do you have? No, you're just adding your D10 so it gives you more up, up, uh, ability to... Right, but the the one I played against you wasn't an attack. Oh, okay. So I don't even know what that's called. What's the gray color card? Do you, can you react to those ones? I think you can react to anything your opponent does. Okay. Oh, but I don't have an attack roll. That's what happened. Um, that's really weird. So the way that it works is like the you play and then there's responses and then it ends with the last response played. So you would do that first. But I don't have an attack roll. Can I still add defensive die to it? Well, you were attacking me with that, right? No, it was this one. Oh, it was that one. If successful, your next attack inflicts plus two damage. That's what you were reacting to. Charge. No, I'm. Um, so whatever your attack card would be. Is what I'm reacting to because that's what we roll off for. Oh, so the okay. first thing is fine. Then, right. then we would play these. And oh, now you want to react to the volt yeah. spike? Yeah. All right. So now, yeah. and then on two reaction, I'll play that. So now I'm at zero. All right. So inflict one power surge to your opponent. Uh, is that? It doesn't say if it's successful or not. The the text has is when you're su successful. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I get one die for this one. I'm gonna be moving away and adding anchors on the crown if I succeed. I improved by one point, a six and a two. How have I rolled? You could, I mean, you guys have been seeing this. Actually, you may not be able to see two that. Two counts that's is not, up. That's not even on camera, my bad. But I rolled a six every single time. What'd you, you get? Ten and a seven and All a right. two. 
Okay. All right, you get another power surge. Um, that's a two. And that's plus two. Uh, okay, so I get a power surge. Yeah. Um, and then you take four. One, two, three, so I'm down to 28. Um, four total? Yep. Okay. And then I, that was two movements, so three, four. Your stupid anchor. Um. All right. Then cool down. Anything moves. This one's here. All right. Get all my cards back. Okay. Oh, that would have gone up by eight. Yeah. Don't forget your rage. So I'm up to fifteen. I'm gonna take. Good lord. I'm going to take my Fighting Spirit, go up to 19. Probably should do this. And uh, hopefully punch him in the damn mouth. <laughs> yeah, I should do this. Jesus. 15, good lord. You almost got your super attack ready. Killing Tim. You figure out what you want to order. I want food. Yeah, oh, that's, okay. not, uh, that's not helping. You gotta, be, you gotta be more specific. Hey Tim, what do you want to eat? Um, I don't know. What do you guys want to do? I mean, I'm really down for anything. I'm easy, man. James. Like Sunday morning. What? Yeah, Three. pretty much. Yeah. Everybody wants. We can do food. pizza. We can do whatever. I don't. I don't care, man. What do you use to order? Uh, anything. Uber, just do Uber Eats. There's a Pizza Hut down the street too. All right, I'm gonna try Little to do. Caesars. I'm gonna try to do a cool little shit. It's not gonna happen because James ruins my life. But um, is that, that all your combos? Good lord. Now, question: Do I gain rage uh, for each one of those attacks that are successful? I think you would. Okay. That's a lot of. I think each time you're damaged, you get rate. You get your rage. Good lord. So I have zero. So I can't play anything. Hold on. Hold on. I'll do that. I'm gonna fail the roll, so let's do that first. So I'm gonna have a. Uh, Three dice. Good lord. Well, I got shit for your first one. Your first one's three? First, uh, it's three total. Because you it's one, and then you add one for each uh, combo. Wait. So the combo attacks, you get to use three dice for each one? Or I thought you started off with the one, and then each one you add one. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no you're totally right. What is, the way that it works is, I'm going to roll for this one. I get two dice, and then I'll get three dice for this one, and then one dice for this one. So it like combos on. So the first attack, first of all, I'm gonna move here. You see the book. Um, and that's oh, it's only up to two other cards, you know. Actually, that's going to ruin... I'm, I'm not going to lose the last one because I don't have enough movement because I move out of stupid flood. So I'm going to go down to 12. Oh, so the first attack is the one with the extra dice. Yeah. And then the end one is the one with the print of dice. Yeah. Ah, didn't know that. Did not know that. Uh, so first attack in the combo is going to be two. So I moved there, which is all my movement. Three, four, five, yeah. Harpoon hook! Is that another anchor bullshit? No. I, I keep rolling out of camera. No! Sweet. 
No! It's not succeed, but a 10 and a 2. Uh, so you take 2 damage. Now and then I may throw striker. you uh, 1 hex. So I'm going to throw you into this building. I'm going to give him a rage. Gosh dang it. So I'm going to draw that and do the what it says. Your robot's massive chassis creaks as you careen through the steel and glass structure. It's a level one, so mm -hmm. I take two damage and creates rubble. All right. Big jerk. Just coming in rubble. Uh, second combo is also two dice. Hold on a second. Uh, sorry, I can't do that. Oh, guess what we have? Ride and crush. X equals the amount of power surges in your opponent's cooldown meter. Inflict X fire. So three. It only does one damage. Okay. Seven and eleven. Is that all eight? Oh my <laughs> god! You all seeing this nonsense? He rolled a twelve and an eight. Jeez. <laughs> I don't like you. I don't give it all. Are you gonna throw it into more buildings? I can't do cool shit. I was gonna pull him into this building. Dang. <sighs> there we go. So I threw him into that building, and I was gonna be able to, with my fist chains, <laughs> grab him and throw him into this building. But All right. he, he hates fun. So you take one whole damage. <laughs> and then, uh. 220 spirit. Holy shit. And then, uh, you get three fire. But you have a bunch of fighting spirit now, though. Why are you have fire tokens? Oh, there. Oh, man. Okay, uh, so that's the end of my turn. I can't cool down that. Can't cool down those. So this, these two go in my hand. You have fire spirit. You got fighting spirit, though. And then these move down. Fire goes into my thing. And I'm done. You didn't, uh... But you have fighting spirit. Yeah, I got it. Oh, you want to keep going? Um, I don't know if I, I, I guess you could just keep going. That's fine. I see Zach's face. Yeah, Zach could be this good too. I'm a little, I'm a little gray on how that works. All right, honest. so it's two movement to get out of here. Yeah. Oh, I have plus one defense. Oh yeah, you did. Well, no, it's at that. I, yeah, that was a, That was on the second attack. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, I guess I'll gain fighting spirit. I recommend if you're going to get this game, then read the rule book before you play it after watching this, because it's probably a lot we're doing wrong. <laughs> Which is par for the course for us. Pretty much. Uh. Should I do it again? You gonna do some bullshit? Yeah, I'm just gonna be the big jerk here. So I don't feel like moving closer. Oh, that's only one though. Three die. Mm. Should I just do that? No, no, that's what I'll do. Alright. Okay, this is the flash combo. So this one. Do you have the Uber Eats pass? No, I don't think so. Put down in there. Two X. Uh, 
Oh, okay. So we did that wrong. All right. So your successes equal the X. In an inflict damage, you may pay two time two X fighting spirit to trigger inflict two plus two X damage. Number of successes. Got you. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do. We're gonna move y'all. Oh my gosh, that's too movement. Fuck. Uh, flash combo. Uh, and that's three die. Flash combo. Harpoon counter. And the six. That's what I'm talking about. Finally won. So. That's two. Tim's deck is. But wait, called, I have three called, die though. It's called the poo. Uh, so. So those get removed. These would, but yeah. then I have one extra. Um. Well, I still have two successes to your one though. Oh. Okay. So we're both successful. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think it just whoever has the most successes after dice are removed. Yeah. Highest remaining dice results. Yeah. All right. So my attack fails. Is that what yes, sir. Uh, I may throw you into an uh, adjacent hex. So I'll throw you into this level two. What'd you get? Hex face. Oh. Yeah, nobody said they care, so I'm getting his hex face. Alright. Uh, I've actually never eaten there. I've been, I've been wanting to. Really? Fuck yeah. Well, today's the day. Face. The building instantly gives way, putting all of your robots' weight directly into the street. That is one damage native. Uh, putting it with shatters and implodes into an enormous sinkhole. That was tier two, so I take another four. Sinkhole. Nice. Sinkhole. Sinkhole? Mm -hmm. Three and a half sinkholes? Good lord, why is it $13 for six fingers? Six fingers. Because that's over it. Well, there's craters. I don't see any sinkholes, though. I don't remember ever seeing sinkholes. I think there's just the fire, the water, the crater, and the rubble. So we'll put a crater there. So it's minus one ele elevation. Salads are actually pretty good also, but I don't want a salad right now. Yeah, they are good. I would suggest the uh, wings and things. Yeah. Because you get bonus wings and fingers. And some bread. You see they actually finally added Yorichi to um, Jump Force? Hmm? What? Yorichi from Bleach. Yeah, no, no. Oh, I haven't played Jump Force in so long. The game went down to like ten dollars. I won't. No, I think twenty. I think it was because they marketed it as a fighting game. Man, there's a lot of different sauces in there. It's not. It's not bad. It's just not what they said it was. Yeah, they marketed it as a fighting game, but it's an RPG. With fighting elements. That they force you to go online on. That's a cool one where you get helmet. Okay. Um, what is is this 
that's different than the rubble? Minus one innovation. Oh, but it's not hard to get out of. Um, all right, so now I have 11. So now we can do convoys. We're planning it tomorrow, right? We're supposed to be? Uh, no, man, I tried uh, a couple years ago. Well, catch up. It's finally uh, getting it's, it's decent. Things are happening. The problem with me is that, like, the kind of anime I'm used to uh, was a lot slower. So I need to watch it in English because it's impossible to read that show. <laughs> it's, too, it's too much going on too fast. It's got to be a experience, Tim. Somehow I got out of the restaurant. I don't know how I did that. Let me see. Let's see what you do. Sorry. All right. Lightning glaive. It says X, but I'm do Add X attack to this. Uh, the, the amount of power surges in your opponent's cooldown meter. Add X attack dice to this attack. Three power surges in there. That'd be strange. Yeah. What are we playing next? It's up to you. Uh, I think it's gonna be four. um Cry Havoc. I would say like we should probably stop this playing this and then play the game that comes most of us here. You've already got me up to like almost a half health anyway. Hold on, I want my lightning glaive. Your lightning glaive? Yeah. What does that mean? My yeah. lightning glaive, oh. buddy. I don't have any responses, so I just got defense. I thought you could use any attack for response. Well, I guess I could. Well, that anchor should definitely be off by now. No, it's still my turn. <laughs> From when I moved everything down last turn, it's still the turn. Because I, I hit you on your turn. Did you order? No, it's going on turn. He clicked out of it. Sky Anchor Echo Driver. Mm, you stupid Sky Anchor bullshit. Jeez. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Was that three successes? Oh, no, it's all successes. Man, just rolled like a thousand dice. <laughs> you got all those powers. Or just take two damage, sir. Whole two damage. That's it? I mean, I could do another attack, but if we're finishing up. Yeah, I figured we should probably... Since he's, I think we got a pretty good idea of the start of the game here. Yeah, I'm going to change that deck up. Now I know what combos to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That is Giga Robo that Tim brought over here. We are still learning how to play this thing. I was about to kill him, though. I didn't even get to use my uh, special attack. It's pretty sick. Electro detonator. Yeah, I was trying to get you yep. in the in the middle of a bunch of buildings to use mine, but it, what did uh, you like, swing? You just swing destroyed around? most of these. Good lord! What do you just like swing around? I can move. I can throw you up to four hexes and then do ten damage on top of that. Good lord! So I can move you through like four buildings and then. I would have put some uh, arc hazards on you. Your core meter and X power dice. Add X power dice to this attack. What are the power dice? The red ones? Power dice are the blue. Blue? Mm -hmm. I could have added that in my cooldown meter. I like how it tells you large drink recommended. <laughs> Create X arc hazards on your opponent's hex and or hit. Uh, remove all power surges from your cooldown meter. What'd you get? It's five attack. I got the chicken six piece. What are arc hazards figures. again? Do they do damage to you? You guys have Venmo? I can... 
Yeah. What are you asking? Sorry. Uh, arc hazards. If you're in them, do they uh, do damage to you over time or something? Um, he's got the tokens in there. It says on the back what they do. I think uh, play a couple times and it'll. Yeah. It'll really Once start you start, to yeah. Make a lot I realized the combo after I'd chosen my cards. But this was going to do three damage every round. Yeah. As it went down, which is actually pretty. Oh, pretty I got that part. I was going to try to keep putting power surges on you and then just keep. <laughs> well, if I would have. Yeah, remember, if I would have gotten those two anchors, you would have been minus six to move, which would have been able to make me do more and more to you since you were anchored so much. I'm not going to wear a dead like zone for DPS because I put him to address it like you're not here. You don't like having it on the side. Is that it? Yeah. And uh, another maybe another time we can play this uh, three-player free-for-all or if we can get a fourth person we can play teams. It'll probably take forever. Of course you throw a freaking circuit speed on there also. Yours is 14 and James is 13. Sweet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was it for Giga Robo. I think I said that already, but we didn't actually close down. Uh, <laughs> please like, subscribe, share if you enjoyed that. And uh, catch us next time on Jinjia Streams. Peace. Bye. That's Tim.